It's interesting, individually they're not so loud. It's only all together they get this vast volume. To appreciate this kind of sound as, as, not, as not unwanted noise, but a kind of music, kind of necessary music, because you know it's necessary for them. This is the culmination of 17 years underground. They've been alive for 17 years. This guy, 17 years has been underground. Now he's come out for just a few weeks to sing, fly, mate, and die. You know, and it's just this amazing aspect of the cicada's life that has been celebrated for thousands of years. There's poems from all over the world, particularly in Chinese and Japanese, about uh, this incredible singing and music of the cicada for such a short time, and then it's gone. You start to hear this tone in your dreams, a tone hard to place, in between C and C sharp. Since the beginning, I've always been interested in the connection between humanity and nature in different ways. And I've always been a musician as well as, uh, you know, when I was a grad student at Boston University, I studied how technology changes our ideas about nature. And I'm still kind of interested in that because, you know, having technology changes our connection to the natural world. Like there's a whale that has a rhythm, like once every two minutes. Just a low thump we can barely hear. You speed it up, it sounds like It's exactly in time. Can they actually hear that tempo as being a rhythm? Every two minutes, a Can the cicadas, do they feel this whole thing as a rhythm? Every 17 years, the noise happens, you know. It's fascinating to imagine that. That's a Diane Reem asked on the Diane Reem show. Really? Does anyone ever ask if you're crazy? Some people say covering yourself with bugs going in the woods. This isn't exactly normal behavior. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> maybe, maybe I am. <laughs> what does it mean to be crazy? Like, you know, <laughs> as long as, uh, you know, I find I learn interesting things about the world by this process. It doesn't seem so crazy. Which, it isn't hard to bring people out and they realize that, oh, this is actually interesting. The sound is interesting. In 17 years, I'll be back. I'll be maybe the same person, maybe a little different. Have some different ideas about sound. The cicadas go on. I just like one tiny, one voice among the millions, one slightly different voice. So, so I, I can only humbly play my part. So the beginning of the world, the beginning of time, the beginning of music, the origins of music came out of this sound. <laughs>